You're back! The Pokemon News was actually just asking about you. Welcome back to the channel, Pokemaniacs. Pokemon News galore this week. Lots of good collectibles. A little bit of video game news. Should be a good one. And if you see anything you like in the video, I'll try to put links to the products that I can, just not all of them are available quite yet. First up though, in our news, I posted a short not too long ago. TikTok, Instagram Reels, like I did it on all the platforms, but I don't know what's wrong with the audio in it for some reason. I showed the Zora arc art on the new packaging and I don't know, for some reason it came through and it sounded like I said Zara Aura. It's super weird. So I don't know what's going on with technology, but definitely not something that's going to haunt me throughout the rest of this video because we talk a lot about Zora arc. Because the final episode of Hisuian Snow came out this last week. The title is Two Hues. Alec finally makes his way to the village and finds his father. There's a lot that goes on in this episode. I don't want to spoil too much, but it's pretty cool. There's a battle. You learn a lot about Alec and what he wants to do, and it's just cool to see the world like evolving into what we know of as, as the Pokemon world. Really great episode. That was the finale. Hopefully they do more of these things because I just love these little mini web series that they do. They're fantastic. And in honor of the finale of Hisui and Snow, you should log on to Legends Arceus because we have a new mystery gift. Go into the mystery gift, download it through the internet, and you'll get yourself a free Baneful Fox mask to wear in the game, just like they do in the web series. But the Zoroark mask is only going to be available until May 31st, 2023, which is honestly like a super long time, but also don't wait, like get on it right now. It takes like four seconds. Pokemon Center is the first to release the pre-order bonuses for Violet and Scarlet. Super exciting news, except it's for an in-game backpack. Are you excited about that? I feel a little underwhelmed. I'm excited to know that pre-order bonuses are at least getting announced though, but since Pokemon Center historically has kind of been one of the better places to get pre-order bonuses, if this is theirs, I am a little bit worried, but also the bar is set pretty low, so I don't know, we might be pleasantly surprised. In the meantime though, Pokemon Snap hit the Nintendo Switch Online Expansion Pass service, longest name ever. This game was revolutionary at the time, a little bit of nostalgia hitting me, but such a fantastic game, so if you've got the Expansion Pass, I definitely recommend trying to go through a quick playthrough. Lots of card news for you. Touching on that Zoroark theme again, we have a look at all of the Lost Origin product line. The logo looks amazing, and I can definitely see the Giratina vibes in it. The pack arts all look fantastic, but I definitely like the Giratina and the Gardevoir personally, but let me know your favorite art down in the comments. For the three pack blisters, we've got the Regigigas promo and the Weavile promo, while the Checklane blisters have Crogunk and Scorbunny on them. The ETBs both just look fantastic. The color scheming lately has been amazing. The sleeves and card dividers might be some of my favorites in a long time. And also the Pokemon Center ETB is going to be coming with a Giratina pin and a Giratina coin. We have the Build and Battle Stadiums also making a reappearance in the set, along with the Build and Battle kits and mini binders for anybody that's into those. And we also got a leaked look at the pre-release promos that come in the Build and Battle kits. Those promos are Comfy, Machamp, Finneon, and Gengar this round. So a super interesting group, I think. I don't know. I mean, I'm stoked to see Gengar, even though it's like a little bit of like an awkward pose. And rounding up the Lost Origins product lineup, we have the new Booster Bundle coming out. The box kind of just looks like a build and battle kit, but instead of having the evolution pack in there, just that pack of cards to build a deck with, it's just six booster packs inside for you to pull some cards on. Runs $23.94, so I guess like a little bit of a discount. Still roughly about $4 a pack, so not bad, but I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Lost Origin comes out officially on September 9th, and with the Pokemon Go set coming out this week, like, I don't know, hopefully you got a good savings plan. And since the Pokemon Go set is coming out this week, you might want to swing by GameStop or maybe call them, double check, see if they have this new promo card. Apparently some people are getting them a little bit early. Typically you get these promo cards for spending $15 or more on Pokemon TCG products, so heads up. Either way, even if you, you call ahead and they don't have it, once the set is officially released, you should be able to get it. So, there you go. More you know. We have a look at some of the new TCG accessories coming out in Japan, though. These will be hitting shelves on the Pokemon Center on July 15th uh, to celebrate their new set, Lost Abyss. Hoping that some of these do come over to the English side, though, because the Giratina and the Deoxys art are fantastic and would love to have those in the collection. On September 1st, we should start seeing this new TCG product for a holiday calendar. Seems like it's basically just an advent calendar for the TCG but it comes with eight foil promo cards with a special stamp on there, two coins, two sticker sheets, one sidekick dangler, six sword and shield era booster packs, six three card fun packs, and a code card. Fun packs are just like those like little like paper packs that you get in like the cereal boxes or like McDonald's gave out. And the sidekick danglers are just like those like keychains with the little like rubber vinyl 
Pokemon on it. A new V-Box is coming our way on September 9th. This time we're going to be getting an Infernape V. The box should go for $19.99 and comes with Infernape V promo card, a jumbo version of that promo, an Empoleon card, and four booster packs inside. I like Infernape. Maybe not like top tier Pokemon or anything like that, but I enjoy it. And for collectibles, looks like Jazzware is actually going to be putting out their own advent calendar this year. So we've got a preliminary image of it here. I, I mean, it's not like the best photo, but at least we get an idea of what's going on. Could be some good figures in there, maybe some exclusives. Not much to make out, but definitely I'm interested. Also, a new wave of Jazzwares is hitting shelves right now. Uh, Aerodactyl and Sharpedo for sure are out on the shelves. And also looks like the Wave 11 3 packs are also up at Target, which I really want that Ghastly, so I might actually need to go and check Target. But also, if you're saving up for a Jazzwares figure, this one might be it. This is the 12 inch epic battle figure of Lugia. I really could see this one flying off shelves, pun intended. This, I think, is gonna be a big collector's item. Like, this thing looks sweet. More details to come, but I'll try to keep you guys posted. There's also this six inch Charizard Fly and Fire pack. Comes with a Charizard and a Pikachu in it. I think you can probably launch this Pikachu off this thing, maybe, I don't know. But it definitely looks like you can cram these fire bolts down Charizard's throat to fire it off and his tail lights up, that's kinda cool. Mega Constructs also has their motion Pikachu hitting shelves at Target. Really wanna grab the Gyarados though, so sorry Pikachu, but the fact that the Pikachu is coming out hopefully means the Gyarados is coming soon too. On the English Pokemon Center, we've got a new line of Pokemon dolls. These are usually more of a Japanese product, but each doll is six to seven and a half inches tall, roughly. We've got Scent to Scorch, Yamper, Spectrier, Glastrier, and Duraludon, available for $11.99 each. In Japan, we've got some new plastic models coming. First up, we've got this Al Creamy plastic model. And then we've also got this amazing looking Gyarados plastic model. This one looks like it's got a little bit of movement to it. Super cool, and there's no like glue or tools required. They just kind of like all snap together. So should be super easy, but I don't mean I definitely, I'm, I got my eyes out for this. Should be releasing this December. Coming out a little bit sooner on July 15th is this Gibble PC cushion. It's essentially just a life-size Gibble that you can cuddle up with while you're trying to type up your Pokemon news script, or maybe you're just at your game desk trying to play some games, but if for some reason you don't like Gibble. We've got the next lineup in Pokemon Psycho Soda Refresh. This line of plushies featuring some slightly different coloring on the Pokemon, but with maximum cuteness. They should be going on sale this weekend on July 2nd, so keep an eye out if you are interested. Sites like Mecha Japan usually carry these things. Also wanted to touch on the Shinka no Ishi product line. It's the product line all based on the evolution stones. There apparently was a manufacturing issue with the like set of stones and that like kind of like case looking thing. So there is a delay on that product. The rest of the line is open, but just that one's gonna be coming at a later date. And I really want that thing, so I'll try to get you guys information as soon as I see it pop up, but just heads up, it's gonna be delayed. But don't delay on hitting that subscribe button, we do these news recaps every week, amongst many other Pokemon videos, so hit like if you got this far, subscribe for more content, take care of each other out there, I appreciate you guys a lot, I'll see you guys very soon, on the next one.